Hey. Hey. You're just cooking onions because that's not much of a dish. <laughs> well, I'm only using half of a large onion here, but you can use a small onion. We are making uh, Israeli couscous today with spinach and onions. And I made it once before, not just once before, but one time I made it to accompany the sous vide lamb rack. Is that right? Rack of lamb. Rack of lamb. <laughs> and I had promised to um, make a video on it. So this is what we're doing today. Here it is. <laughs> and I got my hair cut. Uh, so good. <laughs> so hot. Well, it's so hot, which is why I needed a haircut. But I'm um, After last summer and getting all my hair cut off, it was so freeing to have like short hair over the summer. So here we are again. Another opportunity to have short hair. I find in the winter, I like it a little bit longer because it keeps my head insulated. That's good to know. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that heads well, up. Well, they say up. that most of the heat that comes off your body is from your head. Do you know that? That's why it's good to wear a hat. All right, I'm using two cloves of garlic that I am going to just uh, roughly chop up. Dude was just being snarky with me. What? <laughs> All right. I am using whatever I have left of this olive oil, which is about a tablespoon, but I need two. I need two tablespoons of either olive oil or butter or both. How about that? I have about a tablespoon of butter here. Oh, I see. I can't get it out of my bowl. Where is it? There. there it is. Sorry, I have already heated up my pot. I click saute and I'm just using normal heat. I'm gonna add my onion and saute those for a few minutes. couscous at Costco but you know what I have to say I don't think I've seen it ever since I hope they bring it back you know I like the regular couscous you mean you don't like this one I mean I, it's all right but this is different from regular couscous because the grain not grain but the size of the couscous is bigger so this is called Israeli couscous or pearl couscous and regular couscous is smaller maybe about like a quarter the size of this. That's right. I like the texture of these ones better. I know dude likes the other one. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I'm putting together like behind the scenes, <laughs> flow love expose, the real flow love. All right, I'm throwing in like my, my garlic and I'm just gonna cook that for another minute or so. I'm going to add one cup of couscous. And we're going to saute that for about a minute or two until you start to smell them toasting. Or they look a little bit brown, but not burned. Don't burn them. I'm serving this with uh, barbecue ribs. Should be yummy. And you can find that recipe up here. No, wait. All right, where? Oh. Oh, you see my fuzzy finger? Right there. And while that is going, I'm going to measure two cups of chicken broth. Oh, you glug glugged on the wrong side, dude. off the saute. Get me 
it is starting to smell it's kind of toasty smelling and they're starting to brown a little bit do you see that i don't know if you can see it or not i think so all right we're going to add our broth oh no before i do that i'm going to season with salt and pepper i knew i was going to forget to do that so just a pinch of salt and pepper Okay, add the chicken broth. Just make sure that all the couscous has been scraped from the sides and into the liquid. What if you for, what if you forget? Like, what if you leave a well, couscous behind? Maybe they won't be cooked properly, so then you'll end up biting one that doesn't isn't cooked properly. That's all. Oh, I thought something more dire would happen. <laughs> Right. And use that language of make sure. Make sure. Okay, lock your lid into place, making sure your ceiling knob is on ceiling. And we're just going to cook this for five minutes on high pressure. Oops. All right, see you in a little bit. Won't take long. All right, so it's been five minutes. I did a quick release. looking good. I have about 150 grams of spinach and I'm just gonna put that in there. It looks like a lot but it cooks down um, to like nothing. So I'm gonna stir that in there. I'm just gonna use the residual heat from cooking of the couscous. It should cook down the spinach. Yeah, don't burn your fingers. <laughs> and chopsticks aren't the best. It only took about a minute or two, not even two, I don't think. And you want to do, you want to stir it until the spinach is all wilted. See, look at that. All the spinach is cooked down, and then it's ready to serve. I know you all are waiting for. The taste. You're trying to mess with me as I'm trying to film. You know my camera skills are not so great. I'm trying to challenge you, Flo, because I know you can do it. <laughs> you have it in you. So I do prefer the smaller couscous just because of the texture and what I'm used to. But the Israeli couscous or the pearl couscous is not bad. Am I going to burn myself? I don't think so. I've left it up there for a while now. Ah, hot. <laughs> I like that you didn't um, overcook and pulverize the couscous. It has that al dente. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't uh, overcook and pulverize it either. You only need to cook it for five minutes and you have to quick release, otherwise it will overcook. And you'll wind up with a pile of mush. mush. Nice delicate flavor. I'll probably add more pepper to it myself. And with a spinach, hmm. Nice accoutrement very good i can't wait to have it with the uh, the ribs thanks me mm -hmm. too mm -hmm. all right i really hope that you enjoyed another simple recipe that can go with any entree our ebook is on its way we are putting the final touches on it and we're so excited thank you so much for your patience and your support and encouragement to get this cookbook out there to you guys uh, we're really excited that it's about to happen very, very soon. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, please come follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I did everything backwards. Till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful.